Have you thought about how you can use social proof as an effective influence tool during your interrogations and interviews? Let's find out with tip number 53, 101 Tips to Interviewers and Interrogators. Hey, welcome back. Stan Walters with you again. 101 tips for interviewing and interrogation. We're working on tip number 53. So just what is social proof? Again, going back to the work, I want to make sure that he gets credit because this is where this information, modern uses comes from, Dr. Robert Cialdini and Bob Berg. Judgmental heuristics, shortcuts, when we're needing to make a decision, when we're um, faced with a new dilemma, a new problem we've not dealt with before, we go to these shortcuts to use. We've already talked about commitment, we talked about consistency, we talked about authority last time, we talked about scarcity, now social proof. Social proof is used when we, what is everybody else doing? What do we see happening around us? And so we look to see what others have done and how they've made their decisions. You see very often when in commercials or in advertising that um, it's used by so-and-so. For example, some of the social proof that I use in my business. I let people know that I've done work with the 82nd Airborne, that I've done work with the FBI, that I've done work with the National Security Agency, that I have uh, done uh, training with uh, military units, special forces, uh, with uh, 1st Infantry, 4th Infantry, 25th Infantry, that I've worked with the Texas Rangers, for example. That's social proof. So people are looking to decide if they want to hire Stan to do work, they'll look and say, well, he has done work for these people and it's, they, uh, they like his work, they found him valuable, and then we'll use him. So you see the same thing with happening, I talked about peanut butter last time. You know, nine out of 10 moms, choosy moms, choose Jeff. Or we look to see uh, what's popular, what everybody's wearing. Or you see uh, that uh, the uh, most popular sh brand of shoe is going to be you know, out released at everybody. And the big thing is, is a fad in fashion, so that's social proof. It also comes in effect, for example, try this. Um, when an elevator's door open, walk out, even if it's not your floor, and watch people that will follow you. Or I was at one time as a kid in high school, I was in a uh, fundraising event, and we had to walk so many miles to you know, raise money for, uh, for a charity group. Well, somebody made a wrong turn. Well, everybody behind them, they didn't pay attention, they just followed everybody else. These are very powerful tools. So social proof in the interview. Helen, I've had a case like this before, or you probably heard about the, you know, the young woman who did so-and-so. Now we tried to help her and we wanted her to understand and we we um, tried to work through with her all the options that she had and she didn't listen to us and she didn't want to, to, uh, to uh, help herself. She thought she could handle it and it went south, it went bad, and I don't want that to happen to you. Or this is just a minor situation. Other people in the same situation have found ways to work through this and uh, they've done it. Or we've talked to other folks and so we, what we're doing is presenting other examples of people in the same situation or similar decision-making situation and how they made a decision that's turned out for the good or turned out for their benefit. So you can use social proof. Now you don't say, well, he's turned on you. That's not what I'm saying. Or we, he's told us this. No. What is the decisions that everybody else has made and have come out to the end of the tunnel, working out things well for them by making that choice. And you show them you've got to give options. They need to make these choices on their own. We're supplying them with those decision-making shortcuts, the information that fills that void for them. So look around, see if you can find social proof. See how social proof is used in other situations around you, in decision making, in marketing, in office politics, in group behavior. That's where it's available. So these tools, and you see them a lot, particularly in commercials and advertising and negotiations, are very effective and used for, again, as I said, for 60 years. So watch it around you and see how you can employ it ethically without making up evidence, without lying. You cannot do that as the interviewer. You compromise the quality and integrity of your interview and use the interviewer when you do that. So to learn more, please join me in one of my upcoming classes. To find out about that, please jump on theliguy.com. Make sure you join me on the Lie Guy list. And if, if you're open to conversation, your agency would like to have these courses and we go into great detail, spend a lot of time on this and really develop your skills, please give me a call. Schedule gets busy, so call in advance. 
and let's get there and, and try to work with you and advance those interviewing skills so you're more effective. Sure to subscribe YouTube channel. Please hit the like button below and share, please, with me on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Enjoyed being with you. Going to see you again for tip number 54. Good, then be safe. Stan Walters with you. See you next time.